Okay, just got this unboxed. This is the Edicoa power inverter. 1500-3000 pure sine wave inverter. Comes with the Cat5 cable that is six feet long, the remote, some extra fuses, and all the connections with a little wrench in there to get everything put down tight. A user manual and cables. These cables are about four gauge. I'm not going to use them. I'm going to stick to my two gauge wires. The thicker the better. And the closer that the inverter is to the battery pack, the better off it'll be too. I've seen good videos and bad on this. Let me get everything hooked up and get some testing started and we'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Finished hooking everything up. Here's the entire system that I got with my motor. 8 horsepower, Harbor Freight. Got it on sale. You can get it for about $175. Thing runs fine. Got an alternator. It's a 110 amp alternator. I use the 4 gauge wires that came with the inverter for the alternator. Charges great. I used the 2 gauge wires that I got with my last inverter for this. It provides a lot more power and smoother and runs everything. Got it hooked up over here instead of over here like I had it before uh, for air circulation. It's got the dual fan on the back. For what I've used it for so far, it hasn't had to come on at all yet. I'm sure it will. Right here is my inline fuse, 150 amp with a battery meter on it, which I usually don't use anyway. And everything is working perfectly fine so far. We will do some more testing. And I will follow up here in a second with a video of the system running.